Hello and welcome to my humble abode once again. Today I'd like to dedicate this video to someone who has inspired me and made extremely good videos at the same time and that's Unstable Voltage. He makes superb Minecraft videos that are very informative and sort of motivate me to do more. So that said, without further ado, what I'd like to do today is to make a Tinker's Constrict um, crossbow. So let's start off over here and do that. So <clears throat> we have various mineral materials and one of the best ones is probably steel. But we're going to try a few other variations on, on that theme. So let's just get the steel. And we'll also go and get some of the, the nether ones which are a bit more interesting. And have I got any man in here? Not very much, okay. So I well, had better cook some manilium up before we start as well. Okay, for that we need some cobalt and some ardite. I could mix the two together in the uh, in the Tinker's Construct, but let's just do it this way. I think they're in this just here, yes they are. And you can see now I've already got, actually, the numbers have gone up, I've got an extra stack of these. So let's make three of these and three of these. Let's take these over to the, I'll make sure we've got some sand. I have to make some more sand. Well, actually, let's make some more sand while I'm doing that. Let's take these over to the induction smelter. Actually, I will use that tool. Okay, so we want sand and we want cobalt, I think that's the best one. No, it's not the best one at all. It must have been the rich lag. Yes, the rich lag gives me three. So, let's go to the pulverizer and shove it in there. And let's go into this one. I've got a stack of sand here already. In fact, let's just make some more flint so we keep our flint supplies up. And let's get a couple stone being produced as well. Make that into some sand. Right, okay. Actually, I didn't do this, did I? Let's replenish that. So, back to the induction smelter. Now we've got our six ingots of um, cobalt. Eight ingots. I should have had nine really, but I messed it up a bit. And this time we shall get uh, nine ingots of ardite. There's very little uses for slag, but uh, you can make some things out of it, but not very much. So let's go and put those two in here. And that's fine. So while that's cooking, we'll put this over this there. Uh, let's take this this one over here, and let's put that over here on the thing. So when it's ready, we can get the. Um, cobalt uh, manilium out so right let's put the cobalt here and the steel down here for the time being so the first thing you have to do with the con tinker's construct is to make uh, a crossbow so in here we have the bits we need so we need a, a head pickaxe head we want the other one that looks like crossbow limb and a crossbow body we'll also need um, some some stuff for the bolts but we don't actually cast that we usually do that directly so we can use various different types of materials for bolts oh we do need some uh, string as well of course i'll take those and we actually already have one of those so we don't need those what else can we use for making um it's basically slimy leaves and stuff. That's slimy leaves. Here we are, slimy leaves. 
Okay, so if we go to the passengers first of all, and we will take well first of all, some fletchings, make some fletchings first, so we can do some slimy leaves, that makes slime leaf fletching. And they have a break chance of 2%, but a, a durability of 1.4, so it makes them more durable, makes the bolts more dura durable. And in, and in fingers construct, durability means in this particular case, um, oh, this doesn't make anything slimy grass. Well, feathers was the other option, wasn't it? I don't know if I have any feathers. Slightly fletching, now we've got slightly fletching. So put those up. Okay, now what we also need, of course, is a bowstring. Let's do that here. Put the fletching back, we've got plenty. These two are actually as good as you'll get. This one has a, a break to durability 1.4, accuracy of 94, and this one has accuracy of 96, but uh, a, a lower durability. So what we now need is this bowstring pattern. And with the bowstring pattern we can put some flame string in. Oh, I haven't got, oh yes, I've got enough here. And that makes a fiery bowstring. And this has a draw speed increases, the durability also increases, and the arrow speed increases. So that's Quite good and compare and you compare that to this one here, it's just one one one. There are other materials for uh, bow strings. Let's have a look what else we can use. String, enhanced fabric or flame string. I'm not sure how to get uh, enhanced fabric. I shall have to look at it, but so I've never used it, so let's just stick with what if, if I know. So I don't need any more of those. Don't need that. Right. In fact, what I should have done is to check what else you can make um, uh, fletchings out of. So feathers, yeah, slime crystals, slimy leaves, and oak leaves. Interesting. Or tree leaves. Actually, I do have some tree leaves somewhere. Probably in one of these chests here. So we got the oak leaves. I don't think there's enough oak leaves in there. I don't think it's material. Oh, it's very good. We do. Let's try. I think the material cost for fletching is only one. Yes, it is. So here we have a, a durability of 2.5 and a lower accuracy. So I think probably what's important for these is higher accuracy or so we'll. And these two are very similar, that's 96 and this is 94. Break chance 2%. And maybe we go for the slimy fletchings, okay. So what we first of all have to do, is we have to cast a tool rod. Ah, oh, I didn't get tool rods, did I? The tool rod pattern is, I can see it, this one. Okay. So what we do is put the tool rod down here and then cast one of those. Take that out of actually come back where have you got to? Yes, I picked it up eventually. Yeah, floating around a bit today. So let's do a steel one as well. Let's have that in position four. Okay. Take this one out and cast a, a steel one. And then what you do is you can let's have a look and go back to the, the tool the tools that um, box tool forge. And what you do basically is if I look at this here, it's reinforced this um two and its durability is 1.5. And this one is this it's actually durability is increased and uh, reinforced two as well. So that's so we've got the same strength. I'm not quite sure what the why that's in cyan, but it doesn't matter very much. And then what we need to do is we need to put those just the tool rods on the table here. So let's put those again to position four. And then you can 
pour on top of it steel and that then produces the bolt now, now we have in this case a steel bolt where's it gone to here it's actually quite difficult to see so it's got a durability of 750 a brake chance of 90 and a weight of 3.6 now what I probably should do is to make some more of these but let's try doing this first of all I'm running out of space aren't I okay so let's just if we're running out of space let's just do this get rid of some of the things I don't want I don't need those for the time being I don't need this slug I don't need the, the sand either okay I don't need these right so back to building the crossbow let's make another um, tool rod here and this time instead of putting steel on, uh, on the tool rod we'll put cobalt on or manilium we've got to make some manilium ones as well so actually I've also got here is blank pattern that should get out of the way. That was to move chests around. Okay. Okay, good. Now I suspect this is ready now. Let's just hit this. Nope. Let's just check. Yes. Oh, blow. You know what's happened is they've gone downstairs is that I've forgotten to remove this clock. Let's do that next, I think. And that's just, that was very clever of me. So they basically got automatically converted to ingots, which is not what I wanted. Let's put this in the chest over here. So that means we have to go down to the workshop. And oh, that's a good question as to where they will end up. such a good sign. This chest is already full. Ah, here we go. These are the... Oh, there's a copper. Actually, they don't belong in there either, so... Maybe... Maybe it's upstairs, I'll just have a quick last, last check. I think they're in here, I don't think they're in here. Nope. Okay, so let's just whip upstairs again. They might have gone to the uh, Tinker's Construct chest. Yes, they did, look. That's seven. And then, and, uh, so I got one cobalt and uh, interesting huh? so let's put the seven manilium in here uh, it probably isn't enough so we'll do seven manilium okay that should then smelt and then we should be able to get the uh, eight manilium ingots I think that's sufficient in fact, I do need to make some space, so let's just go back down again. 
and get rid of this copper. I think it's a different copper than this one, slightly different colour. But it doesn't seem to matter with big butter barrels, you can mix the two together. What else have we got? Just this, okay, that's fine. And I think the trees can go upstairs. Let's just actually let's just get rid of the trees in this chest for the time being. I'll forget where they are, it doesn't matter very much. And let's put this hardite ingot in here. Okay. Right. Back to the drawing board. So let's take what well, I think we've probably got enough in here. Look, we've got two ingots in here anyway, so that's enough to make two uh, bolts. Portable tank, molten steel. I know where it's gone to, it's gone in here as usual. Yes. one says for specifications durability is 2.5 durability is 1.75 so durability is 1.3 so you see that the stronger the materials the more durability they've got so what we now need to just remove that one and let's try putting onto this steel bolt here a manilium tip say about this one so it's got a really durability of break chance of 90 weight of uh, 3.6 in comparison to this one they're identical it's mostly at the tip that's important so let's try doing the same thing with the cobalt rod I hope there's enough millennium in here let's see they're not quite sufficient Let's go back and just take this tank out. Let's put the tank over here. It doesn't really matter if I put it in this one or the other one. Okay. Let's, I have to put the steel there, that's fine. Let's see how this is doing for smelting. Alright, okay, good. I've got eight ingots. Actually, it's not that many. You don't don't get double as you would hope. You just get uh, the same number as you put in. So it's a relatively expensive uh, material. Okay. So this time we have a, a break chance of 200%. That's uh, interesting. A weight of 3 and a durability of 800. I didn't expect that, I must be honest. Let's come back down here. Now let's, we've got, we've done steel on, we haven't done steel on Monday, nearly. let's just do that. I'm pressing the wrong button, should be pressing shift. Don't ask me what this thing is doing. Right, got it. So we put that down there and then we hit some steel and get some steel on it. Okay, so now we have a steel tipped manilium bolt. I didn't Yes, that was the opposite of this one, which is a, a, a medium tipped um, steel bolt. And this is a. So the durability is higher, the break chance is 100%, and the weight is less. So we actually want more weight, because more weight means more killing power, as it were. So, that's the bolts done. So we have to then put the fletchings on. So we come to the tool the table here. We can start with probably the one I'd like best is possibly this one. Let's put on that the 
the slimy feathers. That's what it looks like, and I get 150 in a stack. If I change the feathers, what does it say? Tell me. So it gets a total weight of 6.97, accuracy of that, and a break chance of 7.2. It's not too bad, actually. And this one? An attack of one heart. I didn't break chance of that. Which is, oh, what was the other heart there? One heart again, too. Uh, I don't think this affects the, the break chance at all. It's mostly the accuracy and the weight. So a weight of nearly seven is pretty good. Accuracy of eight is probably quite poor, so we'll, we'll disregard that one. Accuracy of 95% is just fine. So we'll make some of these. And we'll also do the same for the um, cobalt ones, I think. Here. 6.75, one heart, 160, yeah, break chance of it. So they tend to break these. And accuracy of 96. Oh, well, let's try it with the steel bolt then. Steel on steel. A weight of 9, so the weight's much heavier. So we'll take some of those. So now we've got two sets of bolts. And as you can see here, this was a steel bolt, weight of nine. These are the ones I tend to use. And this has actually got two hearts attack. And this has got one heart. The reason it's got two hearts is because I've, t I've added onto this one quartz. And the self repairing moss is also very useful for bolts. Maybe we do that later on. So next, let's do the, um, the crossbow limbs. So here it, needs, it takes four. Um, so that means we can do one manilium a material cross, but I think it's best to use this material cost of five. Let's do that first. We'll make one steel, so the steel's already here. in the, uh, the crossbow limb we shall make a steel crossbow limb and then we shall compare and see what happens there we have it okay I'm not going to make any other varieties of that one let's put these bits back into the chest here and then start to assemble the um, the crossbow so the so this is the crossbow pattern here and what we also need is a crossbow so we need for that uh, one of these tough bindings papers generally the best because it adds the extra modifier the extra modifier you can then say do redstone and make it go very and make the, the bow go faster to pull back Right, where are we? So, so what we'll do, we'll do the standard stuff. And we'll compare the two limbs here. Crossbow body. So this gives me a durability of 1200, arrow speed of five, and a draw speed of 2.5. Okay, so if I now change this over with this one. So now the draw speed is three, so it's slower and it's got less durability and the arrow speed is 5.5 I didn't look at the arrow speed last time 5 so this is more durable and it goes faster so then if we swap the next component which will be the string now we see now I look at the string I didn't look at the overall did I so that's durability. Effective is t uh, 20 hearts damage. 
which is pretty good arrow speed of 9.9 .9, which is also very good so what did we do if we put ordinary string in there okay arrow speed is less draw speed is 5.6 I forgot what the difference was actually I think this was 6.15 so it's slower to draw and 20 hearts and now let's just check again 16.5 hearts so we want them we want the most hearts really don't we so okay so this will do that's one option and we can compare that now to steel So the effect of durability goes down, the arrow speed goes up and the draw speed goes down. Is that correct? No, the draw speed is the same, arrow speed is actually... So this is the one I'm going to pick. Manilium uh, bow with a steel limb. And now we start to add modifiers. So we have a choice of modifiers. Well, as usual, with everything with Tinker Construct, you've got lots of choices. So what we can do first of all is we'll put lots of quartz and lots of uh, redstone on the devices. We'll also get some uh, moss. Where is the moss? I can't see it at the moment. Mossy stone. Right, let's just go down this. Moss is easy, you just put basically nine mossy stones. And then in the in crafting table it produces moss. So it's not in there. And we've got 21 mossy stones. So I'll show you what I mean. So that makes moss. So I get two balls of moss, so that's good. One for the bows and one for the cross. For that but we can also produce if I'm not mistaken a hardened in the same way I did it for the um, the manilium hammer which may be best if I've if I'm using the hammer so what we'll use is the hardened um, flux, flux capacitor flux capacitor so we want the hardened variety of this, that one. So that's the leadstone flux capacitor. That's what we're going to make. Okay. Let's try that. Let's try again. So two pieces of lead. One sulfur. Three redstone. And one cup it in the middle, I think. Yes. So we went tin and invar. So have I got any invar here? Tin we should have, yes. Invar I don't have. Let's go over here. I should have plenty of that's refined iron or steel, plenty of invalid. Ah, oh, I've got something wrong. What have I got wrong there? Oh, that's tin. Ah, oh, okay, wrong way around. Capacitor, which of course charges up because of the wireless um, charger which is on the floor above. Right, so now we have some moss and we'll put the moss on the um, where's it gone to here? We'll put the moss onto the arrows or the bolts. Here we've got some bolts, let's put some on that put moss on the other one okay and then on the on this one we shall put the hammer 
uh, sorry, the flux capacitor. Now what we'll also do is we'll make this go as fast as possible. So I'll put redstone on it. So I could put 50 on there. What is probably better to do is to go and get some more redstone blocks. Let's do that quickly. I've been making redstone blocks because of the process I showed the other day where you can actually make from leather or the redstone to come back in blocks. Right, that should be sufficient and make it go fairly fast. So that's 10 modifiers ago, so that's five times round. I've actually done already 200. You watch what happens now is it's reached the, the draw speed should be coming down, so it's already 5.5, 5.1, so each time it goes it goes down 0.4. So now we've run out of modifiers. So what we do is we come to the chest here, take one diamond and one block of gold, come back over here, put that diamond and block of gold onto the and that adds another modifier. So then we can get more redstone. So now we see it's up to 5 seconds, 4.95, 4 4.9, let's keep doing this for the next 5 times, right that's it. So now I've got to bolt the drawers at 4.75 seconds, an arrow speed of 9.9 .9, and it'll, it'll auto repair because of the flux, which is great. Now let's do the same thing for the arrows, this is a block of uh, mop. Quartz, so the arrows. So that's which ones are we going to pick? I think these manilian ones. So let's do these first of all. So it's got. I can do eight at a time. So that's it. That's. Can I get any more than that? Forty-eight out of forty-eight. I can. What I can do is the same as before. I can use one diamond. And a block of um, a block of gold, and I will add another modifier, and then they kind of more quartz for these bolts. But I reckon that these are going to be quite effective. Where have they gone to? These are the ones I normally use. Did I leave them on the table here? Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to put back into this chest these parts that I've been creating. Including the redstone which we don't need, including some mothy stone, including the quartz. I don't need this component either, or this one. So I've got the two sets of arrows. So you see in this particular case, it's got a, a break chance of 95% accuracy, weight of 6.97 and an attack of 1.5 hearts. This one here has got an attack of one heart, but this one's got an attack of two hearts. So let's go and do the same thing for this one. I think the reason maybe I've already done the gold and diamond on these ones here to increase it. So let's do let's put those over twice. One modifier remaining exactly. So this has now got a modifier, also 1.5 hearts. So the difference here is simply because I did another modifier and I increased it by another half a heart. So let's go and test. It's night time, which is perfect for testing. Plenty of mobs around. So what we'll do is we'll put this one that I want here. This is this one. 
It's charged up. Okay. I right click it and it should be then loaded with a sort of steel bolts. Tinker's construct. It'll be loaded with these bolts. Before I go away, let's put this back as well. We don't want to. Uh, these with us. And also, let's put this one in this chest. We don't need that. Okay. I hit the wrong button there, never mind. So nine, let's go jetpack on. And off we go. Two spiders. That's quite effective. Lots of wheels around here. When I come down here, it'll pick up the spidery bits from the electromagnet. There's usually a whole load of monsters over here. See how we do. Let's say my butt above his head. Alright, I got that one. It wasn't the one I was aiming at, that's fine. So maybe a little higher. Yep. This looks pretty good. I don't know if we have a, a zombie. It's always a good test when they get close. Because they're not that easy to to hit. Then we have got a creeper over here. Oh, I missed him. Try again. I'm not sure if it was above or below. So let's see if it's above or below. So you need to allow quite a, a, a large amount of oh, that was wrong. I think I need to keep my eyes open, don't I? So it's quite effective. What else is so it's just good to test against. Witches are good if we can find a witch. Oops, I don't need ones. And here comes one with uh, some protection, which is also good. Test against. That's so what okay to do against this one. Oh, perfect. Didn't have gold protection, they're usually harder. Right. Looks quite good to me. Ahead as well. So. I hope you enjoyed this episode. There is one more thing that we could quickly do, because I think it's already run on a bit long. That was going to show you how to move chests around using this, but because what, the reason I wanted to do that is because I messed them up a bit. You see, here I've got uh, better barrels, and they're at the end of the row. They should really be at the front of the row here. So what I'm planning to do is to move these around. And also, I've been mining down down below. Now you'll see that this that this. Um, crossbow hasn't taken any damage and it repairs very fast and it also works very nicely with the um, oh, what's it called the other capacitor this one here the resident flux capacitor this is activated and when it's activated anything I've got in the, the hot bar will not take any damage so for example let's go down to the, to the mine button and let's go and do some mining so Here's a good place to do some mining. This is quite hard. And you'll see this is digging away and not taking any damage at all. And that's because of the uh, 
and you'll see how fast it is too, it's fantastic, so I'm loving. Look how fast you can, well it works, not fast, a bit too fast for the thing, but. Okay, a right, quick trip back home. Where's home gone to? Zero zero. There we are. Workshop spawners. Workshop. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Bye bye for now. <laughs>